Consider a bipartite graph with partite sets x and y and edge weights corresponding to the value of a match of vertex x with vertex y. These edge weights might represent things like the proficiency that employee x performs task y or the compatibility of persons x and y. And we might be able to find different matchings that saturate all vertices in x and y but we might want to find a matching that maximizes the sum of the edge weights. We can do this using Kuhn's Hungarian algorithm, which was put in its current form by Munkris. Now, we could present the algorithm in a few seconds. You could then memorize the algorithm and spend weeks learning how to do it, and then be replaced by a computer program that will implement the algorithm faster, cheaper, and more accurately than you can. So, learning the algorithm isn't that important. It's more important to understand how to create an algorithm. So, an important idea to keep in mind, you can't be taught how to be creative. You must practice at being creative to get better at it. That being said, there are some useful strategies for unlocking your creativity, and one useful strategy change your viewpoint. So in the last lecture, we came up with the idea that what if we weighted the vertices and not the edges? So given a graph, a weighted cover is a set of vertex weights so that if vertices i and j have weights x i, x j, and edge i j has weight w i j, then the weight of the edge is less than or equal to the sum of the weights of the incident vertices for all edges in the graph. The cost of the cover is the sum of all the vertex weights. Another useful strategy in math and in life, start with the easy things first. In general, an edge weight will be less than the sum of the weights of its incident vertices, but some edges might be equal in weight. And again, a useful strategy for being creative, and life in general, give it a name. So if we take these edges that might be equal in weight to the sum of their incident vertices, they produce the, let's think of a name for it, uh, how about the equality graph? Mathematicians aren't particularly good at being creative with names. So let's talk about sculpting, a strategy for sculptors to carve an elephant out of a block of marble, cut away everything that isn't the elephant. So in some sense, our weighted cover is the block of marble, and we can cut away the pieces of the equality graph, and maybe we'll have our elephant. In particular, suppose we can find a matching in the equality graph that saturates both X and Y then every employee in X is assigned some task in Y, every task in Y has been assigned some employee in X, every edge has weight equal to the sum of its incident vertices. And so the sum of the edge weights will be the cost of the cover, and it will be the greatest possible solving the optimization problem. So let's find a weighted cover and then the equality graph for that weighted cover. Since this is a bipartite graph, we can assign all of the lower nodes a weight of zero. Now the greatest weight of the edges incident on A is nine. Since the end vertex of any of these edges will have weight zero, We'll need to assign A a weight of 9, so that the sum of the vertex weights is at least as great as the edge weight. The greatest weight of the edges incident on B is 8. Again, since the end vertices have weight 0, we'll need to assign B a weight of at least 8.
and likewise C and D will be assigned the weights of 9 and 6. So now let's sculpt the elephant by removing all the edges that aren't part of the equality graph. Since the lower vertices all have weight 0, then we want to select all edges from A with weight exactly equal to 9, all edges from B with weight exactly equal to 8, and likewise all edges from C and D equal to their vertex weights, and eliminate the other edges to find the elephant. And we get... So, if we could find a perfect matching between the sets of vertices, we'd have our elephant. But we can't. And so here's the problem. While we can find a matching from our equality graph, it generally won't be a perfect matching. So what we need to do is to modify our weighted cover so it includes more edges. We'll take a look at how we might do that next.